Hi everyone, my name is Peyton, and in this video what I want to do is actually go over the 3D text tool inside of Unreal Engine 5. Uh, this is actually a follow-up video to my uh, previous video where I went over creating neon signs inside of uh, UE5. Um, and basically when I put that out, yeah, I had a viewer, John Paul, actually comment that uh, Unreal Engine 5 has a text editor tool. Uh, I was not aware of that, but I've yeah, spent the past couple of days playing around with it. and I think uh, instead of actually using Maya, if you want to do this method, um, you know, it, it eliminates the program as well. And uh, honestly, it, yeah, it gives some really awesome results. So I wanted to kind of just run through and actually show how that works. So it is a plugin. So you'll need to go and actually um, go to edit and then plugins. And you want to type in text and you should have the text 3D. So I can even just type in 3D as well. That way, um, yeah, it's the only one there. But uh, you will notice that it's in beta, so uh, there might be problems with it or so. But so far, I haven't found anything uh, wrong with it. Uh, but basically, you'll enable that. And then, uh, of course, just like any other plugin, you will need to actually restart uh, the engine. But once you have that, you can actually go into uh, your... Yeah, environment here and so this is just a little test scene that I was doing for some of the neon sign work um, and basically over here I can type in text and of course we have the text render actor that we've always kind of had uh, that's the flatter text that you can place in but you'll notice now um, after you've relaunched with the plugin you'll have text 3d and so I can actually drag this in to the environment and we have 3d text so far so uh, once you have that in the environment, you'll notice over here that there's a lot of options in the details section. Uh, of course, the first option here is actually our text. Uh, so let's say I'm just going to write Unreal Engine 5, uh, just like our previous video. And uh, now, of course, there's a couple things that uh, we want to probably do. Um, first off is, yeah, our, our actual font. Uh, right now the font that we have is just the the basic font um, and then additionally there's a couple of other features here you can extrude it further if you wanted to um, basically pushing that out and then there's also beveling so it can uh, do a really solid bevel for you uh, and yeah if I actually get a little bit closer you'll notice the the bevel starting to uh, incorporate and you can change actually the the bevel type so convex uh, is the basic one but you could actually do it like a concave bevel um, there's yeah a couple of other ones as well that you can uh, mess around with and then there's the bevel segments and then one other cool thing is the actual outline so if you click this one it does basically an outline of the the geo and so it's yeah it's basically like a nice little cutout um, I do want to go ahead and actually place I'm going to grab this material and place the emissive onto here. Um, one thing that you'll notice as well uh, with the, the font is that there are a couple of different uh, locations for materials. And that's because they actually have uh, different material spots for uh, the front geo, the side geo, uh, the bevel geo, and so forth. So you could get really specific to where, like, if I only want an emissive happening on that front part, uh, I can actually just drag it in here. And you'll notice that the, the back area is not glowing. It's just on the front geo. Um, and so that's pretty nice uh, with that. But, yeah, and then if I switch it over to outline you'll see that again it's just on that front part so uh, it's really cool uh, I like that feature a lot and uh, yeah basically the the main other thing um, wanted to scroll down here uh, additionally you actually have I'm gonna get rid of that outline but the alignment this is just like the the Maya one that I was going over uh, but you can center your alignment over your pivot uh, which is pretty nice and then additionally like vertical alignment um, this is yeah, kind of going with the the actual like if I had multiple uh, stacks which this might yeah show a little bit better um, how you'd want to center it basically uh, if you wanted the the pivot point to be above or below um, or centered so uh, typically yeah first line is by default and yeah 
probably wouldn't change that. Um, but then you can actually do kerning, uh, line spacing, word spacing. That's really nice as well in here. Uh, I think just having it in Engine can be a lot nicer than actually having to jump back to Maya and do a lot of the iterations uh, like we were showing in the previous video. Um, so actually having it in here is yeah, probably going to save you a decent amount of time as well. Um, but yeah, that main thing that I was talking about as well with the font here is that this is the basic one. Um, I think it starts with the uh, yeah, verbato or so and how do I actually change font. So if you find a font online, um, you can actually just drag it into the editor uh, and drag it into whatever you know, folder. So I actually have a font folder here. Um, and by default, once you drag it in, it should uh, pretty much like set up properly to where uh, yeah, it's, it's read as a font if you just get that, that font file type. Um, and then, yeah, over here, basically, you can also, like, uh, drop down and there's, uh, if you wanted to create a new asset, you could select font or so. Um, I can't believe, can't remember, yeah, so you could actually, uh, if they're brought in properly too, um, there's the font and then the font face. Uh, with the font itself um, because it's going to automatically make a font when you come in here um, and then the font face I believe is the actual like uh, part so here let me open up this yeah so there's different types of um, fonts so this is the default one uh, if I wanted to add a different font type to where they're all under one um, so bold your normal maybe light uh, all the stuff that you would have in like Photoshop or elsewhere. Uh, that's basically how you could, yeah, um, basically build out a family uh, where it's underneath one and it's a little bit easier. But I can also just, yeah, drag it in if I want to be quick about it. And you can see that I'm just really quickly changing the font type. Um, and then just like our previous video, we were using uh, this font over here. And now we have that same, uh, like, uh, cursive almost writing that's happening with it um, and again just the front lettering is being lit uh, I could of course like if I wanted to you know go back here and let's say actually apply the material to the rest of it so let me drop this back or yeah so if I wanted it to be where the the whole thing lights up um, as if it's like a, a sign or so uh, that can work pretty well. Um, but typically, like neon lights, it uh, depends on if you're talking about the old, uh, more like tube lights, uh, those are like pushing through a gas that lights up. Um, but then the newer ones that are becoming more popular are uh, actually like, I think, like LED, kind of like uh, soft lighting. And typically only the front area mainly lights up with that. Um, it's a little bit cleaner and stuff, but uh, overall, yeah, you can really customize however you want to have it. And I think that's the big thing really for the engine. But yeah, I can uh, bring this in if I wanted to uh, actually duplicate this out. I can move this over and I believe if I just go up here, yeah, I could go ahead and um, let's say 3D text. And I can, yeah, just duplicate. It's a little bit easier than having to use an external program for that as well. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this pretty much covers the text tool and what you can do. Of course, you can go a little bit further as well with some of the more details and everything that actually is applied down here. Um, but I think this is uh, pretty awesome just for actually getting the same amount of text that we had in our previous video. And I'll make sure to link down below as well the, the actual neon video if you are interested in um, making some of these neon signs and uh, yeah, actually placing it into a scene uh, similar to this. So yeah, that's about it for this one and I will see you next time.